Hello and welcome dear friends, it's me Odo and I am back with a new let's play uh, as I was um, saying in my news of the channel um, I bought Age of Wonders Planetfall a few weeks ago and I already played a bit, but my computer is quite a bit, um, a bit too slow for the game. So if you play a big campaign, it's kind of, uh, yeah, let's say slow. <laughs> um, so I thought I will start a campaign, a campaign I didn't start. Um, can the currents of the void shift intro. around me. Follow my voice, my last possession. Yeah, it is not fantasy. My but name was Empress Carminia, fiction, and I was the last like regent of the Star fantasy. Union. We built a paradise on a thousand planets, a yeah. glistening web strung between the stars. But the cataclysm shattered all, leaving our people stranded and alien to one another. Of course, a paradise. Whoever you mm -hmm. are, whatever you have become, it is time to leave this dark age behind and return to the worlds of your ancestors. Uncover our secrets, but heed our mistakes. Yeah. What she wants to say here... Forge a new empire. Yeah, a new age of wonders. Whatever. Uh, what she wants to say is that the... Um, the possibility to go through hyperspace was... Um, uh, eliminated 200 years ago and therefore this big empire broke apart and now as we are able again to go through hyperspace there are some new whoa, top dogs um, I played the tutorial and also most of this leaf 6 campaign so I will leave this alone I also started the Kirko which is an alien race of insects with a hive mind um, just just one of the of the scenarios in the campaign I did with them um, it seems they were the oppressed uh, uh, were some kind of oppressed uh, species of the star alliance uh, and here you use you are playing the uh, vanguard which are the uh, they think of themselves as the good ones. <laughs> um, there are a lot of other human factions that are different from the Vanguard. They all have different types of um, troops. All different kinds of um, uh, strengths and and what's the different? Uh, what's the opposite of strength? weaknesses <laughs> um, I will do this last campaign that is free from beginning uh, this is Chimera Glacialis this is the Serious Alpha but I unlocked that already I did this already hmm. this is strange yeah anyway this um, is played by a uh, uh, by second alien race the dwar <laughs> I mean uh, it's obvious that they are the dwarvens in this universe <laughs> they are they are very... Well, we could go on advanced. Would it be... Hmm. If it 
it's advanced. Would it be harder for us? Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, anyway. Um, it's not uh, fantasy, but they are more or less the dwarves in the in this in this game. Uh, what do we have there? We have some perks. Dwar close combat equipment. The pack you received after close combat training. This advanced training gives you the following skills. Close quarter specialist one. Increases damage dealt when using melee weapons. Okay. Mortality one. The rocket hammer. Deals a single burst of kinetic damage at close range. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Martial tradition. Um, you learn from very young that this is a dog eat dog universe. <laughs> um, and only the strong survive. You carry this mentality throughout your military career. Weapon expertise and ruthless killer. Once per turn, when your commander kills a unit in combat, they immediately regain all action points. Okay. Can we take another perk? No. These are quite good ones, probably. Okay. I it's okay. We'll we'll take this one. And we don't customize our commander. Let's just leave him like that. Uh, as I said, I. I, I don't know anything Explosions about them. are the masters of creation. The Big Bang forged the universe, and the Cataclysm carved the Devar. They are not Deprivation only dwarves, but also Russians. did not hurt our minor ancestors. It only ignited the strength and craving for resources that still drive our current fold. Now, under the watchful eye of the Ottoman Council, the Devar Consortium are locked in ruthless competition. Prestige and infinite riches versus poverty and eternal shame are our new stakes. Really? I am the head of the Zelizu Devar Consortium. Before my rule, our house was weak and complacent with its position. I sparked ambition in my people. The Zelizu Devar rose rapidly in station, but. The Adamant Council still looked down on us. Today, everything changes. Our prospectors have found a resource-rich world of Chimera Glacialis. Once the Council grants us mining rights, the Zelizu Consortium will finally attain the status it deserves. Okay. The Council is demented! These bumbling fools granted our claim to the disreputable Razvet Consortium. We found this world. By traditional claimant rights, it should be ours. It's clear to me that the Council will never trust us. So, we must carve our okay, own path. So they will not are... stand in the way of the Zelizo, and neither will Volodny Razvet. So we are kind of a rogue trading group, um, pirates. <laughs> we are Russian dwarf pirates. The world pirates. of Chimera Glacialis lies below us. Its stormy exterior hiding riches just ripe for plunder. As we descend, these storms okay. will interfere with our ship's navigation systems. I doubt it will be the last obstacle hiding this planet's secrets. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. This is the second take because the first one, the first time uh, I was pulling rendering at the too low level. Too low level? Is this okay to say? Uh, and you didn't recognize anything on the map. So. The encampment is setting up as ordered. There has not yet been any sign of the Raswet. Okay, whatever. Good, we have chosen a fortunate landing site. One of the mining complexes of our ancestors lies dormant nearby. It would be a shame to see their creation decay without purpose. 
we must assemble a force and reclaim the facility. Okay. Inessa Celesso. With our prospectors deployed, we should see to it that they are put to work exploring and prospecting nearby sectors. It would benefit us to identify suitable settlement sites. Our prospectors deployed. Okay. Reclaim the old mining complex. Sounds nice. An extra red core facility. Okay. Whatever. Then we'll get stuff. And prospect the surrounding sectors. A newly assembled prospector can be put to good use prospecting the surrounding sectors, collect additional resources through prospecting using the prospector hint. Move a prospector onto the center of a sector to use the prospect sector strategic operations. Okay. Except. So this is the prospector, I believe. No. This is the prospector. And who are these? Ah, uh, okay. This is my main. These are my main troops. Okay. Um, yeah, the game is. Um, the world map is divided in these sectors. If you control the city or the, the center of the sector, you control the sector. Um, we will annex regions uh, by growing. So if we have enough population, we can annex surrounding sectors. Um, we can also build new um, colonies because even though if if this sector would uh, grow to this sector and this and this um, it's problematic because uh, we can only produce once it will be faster but uh, anyway it's only one colony so we will do some colony ships later on as well um, we get a lot of these quest stuff things um, it's normally good to do them also in this campaign must survive the conflict on Chimera Glacialis yeah okay so if we want to win we have to survive the conditions we'll have to claim Chimera Glacialis so we probably have to kill the other guy there are some um, also some achievements we can get like the invader declare war on an NPC faction kill two armies belonging to an NPC faction or the um, emissary two quests for an NPC faction yeah um, besides us there are three big factions and there are NPC factions these are not um, these are like city-states in Tif or something like that uh, you can be friends with them and they sell you stuff they also give you some um, some quests. Yeah, and when you did this, more than enough. So what, what's this guy? Yeah, this is a hero. We have some heroes. They can do stuff. Okay. Yeah, stay stay with them. Here is the center of the wood. So, set production. We can build a prospector. Or, 
let's see. So you see, um, each of these provinces has some bonuses on stuff because of the terrain they are. Like um, here in this. Hmm, come on, show me again. In Trader's Garden, we have Fertile Plains, which gives us a bonus on food and science, and Arctic, which gives us a bonus on, uh, on production and science. So, um, here we have a bonus on food, science and production, but we also have this overgrown biodome, which is also producing um, food if we make an agricultural um, district here. So normally we will look to have at least one agricultural, at least one production and the others are like I mean science and energy. There is no energy. Yeah there is energy. Energy is the money here. <coughs> Without energy nothing happens. So but this we will we will gain anyway when we put our troops here. This is some um, special place. Uh, this is a facility um, when we go there we can fight some monsters inside not the monsters that are outside we will have to fight them any also uh, but after we we fought the monsters inside we control the area And we get the way something that's inside. It's like a treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no. They say we should make uh, something like that, but I think we should go for money or for science. Because we have here this agricultural and here this um, production stuff. So it's probably better to go after science because this is a science place. Okay. What's that? I should have known you would not be able to let this lie. The Adamant Council pledged this world to us. You're a fool if you believe that the Council will stand by and let you disobey them. Okay, there we have our um, enemies. The cities of the war found this world respite. The Adamant Council disregards decades of tradition to deny us our rightful claim. We need to not fight. You were once family. I will give you a choice. Withdraw now, or we will take out you by force. Mm. <coughs> dwarves against dwarves. Yeah, that's good. I will enforce the law of the Council. My consortium relies on me. Corvin. And I cannot show weakness. Alexandra would never have wanted this. Ooh. Father, there is plenty on this world for both our consortia. Cooperation is far less expensive than war. I know Uncle would avoid hostilities in favor of profit. Ah, this is our son. I know Uncle will avoid hostilities in favor of profit, so we should be able to avoid bloodshed by plying him with the right gifts. Ah, so we could also do it diplomatically. Resolve the Celeso Raswet conflict. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Except. We must be allied or destroy them, I believe. It was. Hmm. 
a piece to rest with, with a gift. What? So this one has disobeyed the Adamant Council and is now mining this world illegally. Large gift of course might will make them more inclined to resolve this conflict. Ah, okay, we can't do it now because we don't have enough curls right. Because we just have 25 and we need 30. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. We get this. Ah, they just tell us that these are available now for us. Okay, let's move. Let's see, can we prospect the sector? So, let's do our first fight. To show you this, and after this fight we will stop this first installment. This will hopefully be not too um, long. But I did something like fast movement stuff, so we don't see... the move. What's that? That's a punch. Kinetic punch. What's that? That's an obstacle. Oh. Oh, these are the defense guys. We have such... Um, our trenches they can make some trenches trench um. oh this is our leader this is... Oh, he has a melee weapon, rocket hammer. Is this a melee weapon? Ah, oh, come on. Show me the info. Massive impact stagger units include stagger resistance. Units induce reducing action points and counseling defensive mode. Okay. Yeah, and this is a pistol. Whatever. So, we go there to have some copper. They also give cover to you, don't they? No. Mm 
Okay, we will also do this. Also trench. Okay. What's that? Shield bash. Ah. Oh. This is uh, some offensive stuff. Okay. Press next. I really don't know if this is right because they seem not inside their castles. Now of course, attack my, my hero. That's typical. Okay. Nope. But you do have something like that, don't you? Yeah, okay. Don't throw there. Payback. Payback. So what's that? That's dust. Activity engines boost to immediately refunding all the movement points and attempting to apply blinded to all adjacent units. Okay. Enemy destroyed. <laughs> uh, even our computer has a Russian accent. Come on, you chicken, don't run. Hmm. I'm too tired to play, probably. Come on, stay here. Stupid bug.
Hmm. Let's kill this unit somehow. Enemy down, big three. Yeah. This was this. Oh, these were the ones inside. Disposing gas bomb. Yeah, whatever. Now we'll have to. Production ready. Let's do some of this. <laughs> okay, at this point, my dear friends, I will stop. Uh, normally I won't do these kind of battles because they are really tedious and normally um, not getting you anywhere. Um, although you tend to lose uh, troops by that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, next time we will continue with this campaign. Until then I wish you good night and sleep well.